I'm, not, I'm desperately going to not try and bore you, so we'll try and do some interesting stuff. Okay. Well, first thing is um, welcome. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'd like to formally welcome you today to the 2010 UK and Ireland SAP User Group Conference. I said it in one go. As you will have noticed, uh, we're back in Manchester again uh, for a second year in a row after last year's resoundingly successful conference. Um, looking at you the, all this morning, it's clear that, again, we've uh, surpassed, surpassed ourselves, and this is the biggest SAP-focused event in the UK with more delegates, more exhibitors, and more sessions than any other. Based on your feedback, um, we've made a few changes to the conference this year, which I'd like to draw your attention to. For the first time, we've held an informal welcome reception yesterday afternoon and evening. I hope that those of you that were able to attend liked the new extended uh, conference format with time for informal work networking, meeting new people, and getting to know some of the SAP experts who are on hand whilst enjoying the test drive demonstrations and the food that was served. With a longer conference format, we've also been able to increase the number of sessions, and our team has been working hard with the speakers to ensure the quality of the content is more valuable than ever. This year, we'll also have a different location for the gala dinner, which will be held at the Old Trafford Cricket Ground. In addition, based on your feedback, we're introducing six new streams this year, software as a service, cloud computing, emerging technologies, solution manager, enterprise performance management, mid-market, and a specialized vendor track. We hope that you'll enjoy them. This year, we are very pleased to welcome SAP co-CEO Jim hargerman Snarby as our keynote speaker. This is a great coup for the user group, and the first time we've had the company's CEO participate at our conference. To us, it's a great sign that SAP really wants to get closer to its users and values our contributions and thoughts. With Jim as co-CEO, we think that SAP has a great structure for future success. Splitting the CEO responsibility has worked very well for SAP in the past. In the if we look at where we are today, Bill McDermott, SAP's other co-CEO, is focused on sales, building revenues, and profitability. This is great, as growth will need to be key for SAP's ability to deliver on our needs. However, I need to point out, we will always look to ensure our pockets are not being hit without true value being delivered. Having the other CEO, Jim, with his eyes firmly planted on the development of the product roadmap is also crucial, because innovation and solid products are what SAP is all about. SAP has always been a software development company, and we see the appointment of Jim earlier this year as a firm signal that this will continue. So we welcome these changes and the move back to two CEOs with open arms. On the user group side, it's been a busy 12 months with a host of achievements I'd like to talk through with you. I mentioned at last year's conference that SAP and Sugan were undertaking a benchmarking exercise to measure the value of enterprise support. As many of you already know, after talking and working extensively with SAP, in January we received the news that it was going to offer a greater range of support to customers and our members. Specifically, SAP brought back standard support. The move shows that our voices have been heard and that SAP has really taken our feedback to heart and is making changes to meet the needs of all of our users. For some time now, we've wanted to more visibility into SAP's future roadmaps. As user organizations that have made strategic investments in SAP, it's really important to know what's coming down the line so that plans can be made and upgrades and implementations can be built into longer-term IT strategy. Working as part of Sugan, we have continued to gain the influence with SAP, and this year, the company has started to open up its roadmaps. Some of you will have already gained some future insights through different SIG meetings. Those of you that haven't, I'd urge you to get involved as there is some really useful and exciting stuff that SAP is sharing. But this isn't just about SAP sharing with us, it's about us sharing with them. They want our feedback on their future plan plans, and looking around the room, I'm sure there are plenty of you that can provide this. A working group has been formed between Sugan and SAP to make it easier for you to get involved at a much earlier stage in the development process. In fact, we'll be running an event next year for you to directly input into the SAP development process. We'll discuss the development pr request process and work with SAP on making it less cumbersome. Look out for the details about this event later in the year. But before we leave the topic of roadmaps, I'd just like to say well done to SAP. Research we conducted recently showed that 83% of IT directors wanted better foresight in roadmaps with their IT vendors. Other findings showed that a lack of access was impacting organizations' ability to plan their IT strategy. 
SAP is the only vendor I know to address this issue and become more open. Considering this work involves SAP sharing highly confidential information, this is a huge step forward, and we are so pleased that SAP sees the value in sharing the roadmap and allowing us to give early feedback. But this is not the only area in which we've made great strides in terms of getting a two-way conversation going with SAP and opening up new avenues of providing feedback. In April this year, Sugan's customer engagement program began. This involves the creation of a list of different topics that SAP would like feedback on. We then match customers to the topics, and SAP picks 10 users per topic to engage with. We've had an extremely positive response so far, with the early group of users involved telling us that it's been a very valuable exercise for their business. In fact, one person told us it's been like getting thousands of pounds of free development work. SAP is looking for new users to get involved each quarter, so if you're interested in participating, I'd urge you to look out for the invitation emails over the coming month. In other news this year, we've been very focused on looking at business objects. Someone recently asked me whether I thought ERP would support top-level business strategy, and my answer was a resounding yes. Whether a company is looking to expand, move into new product lines, or reduce headcount, ERP can play a significant role in helping achieve this. But to really maximize success, you need to bring business intelligence into the mix, because it can give you the information you need to formulate and evolve your business strategy. And that's the value of the business objects acquisition. SAP contains so much useful data, and business objects can help you extract this data, convert it into meaningful information, and use it to make important business decisions. Together with Sugan, we've launched a business objects charter. As part of this, we conducted a survey of business objects users. We found that only 12% of customers are using business objects and SAP together. This has to change if we as users are to benefit from the acquisition. SAP must help and take responsibility for making it much easier and cost-effective for organizations to get benefit from the combined portfolio. SAP also needs to focus on making sure the needs of the business objects community are met. 38% of the survey respondents didn't feel SAP is meeting their needs. This will be a continuing focus for us over the next 12 months. And in fact, there is a separate business object stream that we're able, able to show you and are running at this venue tomorrow, for which you'll be able to get more information on product roadmaps and the results of our survey. In this area overall, our goal over the next year is to demonstrate how SAP users can get more out of business objects and how business objects users can get more out of SAP so that everyone can see how to extract the most value. The survey also found that pricing, support, and licensing are the three most pressing concerns for SAP business objects users. Actually, these concerns are probably reflected through the whole SAP user community. With pricing, the feedback from users is that there needs to be greater clarity. Our message to SAP is clear. Users want greater clarity and transparency around pricing. Linked to this is the issue of licensing. SAP licensing has always been a challenge, and at the moment it seems to be getting more complex. We need simplicity, not complexity. With people moving to a mixture of on-premise and off-premise instances, the licensing issue is fundamental. Customers need a clear picture of what their pricing and the licensing options are. It's fundamental to their budgeting process, but also, without this clarity, SAP could run into problems with the adoption of their off-premise, on-demand hybrid solution. Have no doubt, though, SAP is a great solution. And now with Sybase, we not only have on-premise and on-demand, but also on-device. Like business objects, this should be a great acquisition. In many ways, it completes the picture and potentially offers us a truly end-to-end -end solution for business processes. What we now need and hopefully we'll see over the coming year, is easy and true integration between business objects, Sybase, and SAP. Don't be fooled, though. This is a big challenge. Integrating these three huge companies was never going to be an easy task, but if SAP can execute the integration and make buying its products easier, it'll take some beating. Our challenge to SAP is deliver on the promise and show us the value, both practically and commercially, of using SAP wall-to-wall. So, SAP, we applaud you for listening and sharing and working more collaboratively with us. Good progress has been made, but there is more work to do. We will continue to push for the clarity over pricing and licensing, but better support and education around business objects and for easy integration between your product sets. Hopefully, you will recognize that a strong user community makes for a stronger SAP. 
It's with this in mind that I ask one last thing of SAP management. Support us to engage your customers. A theme we have been discussing locally with SAP for several years is how we can reach out more effectively to SAP users. Let us know who your customers are, or at the very least send communications to your customers on our behalf. Tell them about us. Tell them about our conference. At the moment, we are often left to communicate to them on our own. Individuals within SAP have said they would help many times over the last few years, but this has yet to result in the all-important communication we need to your wider customer base. We need to work together. We need to bring your users together. But we can only do this if we help us identify all those customers that have yet to join our community. I hope at next year's conference I can stand up and say that SAP has helped us to communicate to its entire uh, customer base. Finally, no opening keynote could conclude without a resounding thank you to each and every one of the staff and volunteers who work so hard, not only at the conference, but also to support the more than 50 special interest group meetings we have during the year. Their dedication to the SAP user group ensures that everything runs smoothly and that an event like this can happen. I'd like to give a special mention to the conference committee whose tireless work planning and delivering the annual conference means that every year's event is even better than the last. Volunteers play such a valuable role to this user group and we can never have too many. If you'd like to get involved, please come and see us on the user group stand. And finally, I would like to thank you all for coming to the conference and for your continued support of the SAP user group. It ensures that we can push for our voices to be heard and the great results we've had this year are real proof that we are making a real difference. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy what promises to be an exciting and interesting conference. <laughs>